Hey everybody, Chef Ted Reeder here, and I'm in my backyard at Casa Barbecue. Yeah, there's a lot of grills here, but you know and what's kind of special today? And me. Craigie Van. <laughs> Yes, it is, and I love asparagus. And Ontario asparagus, because that's where we live, yep. are absolutely fantastic. Mm -hmm. And they're plump, and they're crisp, and they're beautiful, and this is the season. This is actually 2022 is a bumper crop. They've got really? lots of asparagus. So, and they're healthy as hell. And they're healthy. So Yeah, some will even use a potato peeler, right, and take off these rough well, edges. Well, this is it. So now... Oh, okay. Sometimes I find with asparagus, Ted, I'll get a bit of a sliminess off of it. Yeah. What, what, what's that slime? Well, is it the skin? Or it's well, the... they've been sitting around too long. Oh, they're okay. old. What we do here at the house is we take them, we trim them off the bottom, we put them into a, a container with some ice cold water, about this much in the bottom. Okay. And we put a little plastic bag over top, mm -hmm. and we pop it in the fridge. So Why the plastic up. bag? It keeps them from drying out. Okay. And the moisture helps them continue to live. Ontario asparagus, it's at every local grocery store right now, and vegetable stand, and this is the time of year. You know when it's seasonal? Yep. That's when you get it. You don't buy asparagus uh, in, in December because it's not going to be local. Okay, right. You may get it from Mexico or another place, and there's nothing wrong with those asparagus. Right. But when it's the season here at home, right. this is the time you should be eating asparagus every day till the season is done. Keep track and of those seasons. And then move seasons. on. Yeah. Right? Yeah, yeah. Do you want me to help you with that in any way? No, I only have one vegetable All peeler, right. so I you're going to have like to stand I... here and watch. You know what? You're not at that level. Like Kevin, the other guy, that my other buddy that comes over, you know Kevin. Oh, I know Kevin. Kevin Morgan. I know right? Kevin. Yeah, Kevin, he gets to help now. See my eyes roll when he mentions Kevin? Yeah, I know. You're just jealous of Kevin. But Kevin does all right. Kevin, Kevin, Kevin's the greatest. Kevin's the best. I think Kevin's a fag. I think I'm here for the long run. But we'll, we'll wait and see. This is just the peelings on the outside, and there's nothing wrong with that. Beautiful. You could actually turn that into a coleslaw, a little asparagus slaw, right? So you put it all together, and then you can go to the garden like this, right? And what's the next season? What comes out next? Oh, you got everything coming up in the summer, but you, corn comes down the right. line, right? Right. right. All the, the summer salads and lettuces and radishes are popping out now. So you take something like that, right? A little bit of salt and pepper. Olive oil, beautiful. There's no measuring cup to be seen. Mm -hmm. Joel, is there a lemon or a lime or a... Let me just, help. Oh, here we go. Okay. Thank you, thank you. I can't even touch them. <laughs> Kevin could have touched the lemon. Yes, he could have. Mm -hmm. Put your hand underneath, catch the seeds. You need some acid to balance off against the oil. Okay. And that's it, just like that, right? A little bit of salt and pepper. If you want to take this a little lemon pepper, right. throw it in, right? So now, you're not going to cook that? That just gets served up No, that's up an asparagus up. coleslaw. There right it is, there. right up. Doesn't need to be cooked. I guess it's you can eat asparagus raw, right? Yeah, I guess so. Go on, get in there, brother. Oh my God, that's really good. Yeah, that was just improvised. Listen, uh, uh, you know, you'll, you'll watch cooking shows all the time and everybody says it's great, it's great, it's great. Teddy pulled this together at the last second. It's really, really good. I'm not BSing about this. Let's get into grilling mm. asparagus. All right. We got charcoal. It's nice and hot. So when you're going to cook on charcoal, the one thing to know, when you got raw charcoal, when your charcoal is black and it's cooking, you don't have proper flavor, you don't have proper heat. You have to wait until it's the right moment. Right. So you got to take it to its white hot. The asparagus, this is how easy the asparagus are. You have them soaking in the water, right? And you want to make sure you've got lots of water on them, okay? Just so you understand, this is an asparagus, right? Look at the grill. If you put it this way, it may fall through the grate. So here, go this way, and it won't. It's brilliant, isn't it? It's really the godfather of the grill. Yeah, that's it. So now, you take your asparagus, put lots of water on them. And then onto oh, wow. the grill. And you want them, line them up like good little soldiers here across the coal into a uniform little line where all the tips are in the same area. And this really takes like no time, well, right? It's not gonna, it takes about four or five minutes. Okay. Now I'll take a little bit of lemon pepper. It's just lemon pepper seasoning. Okay. Just season that on there. Let them cook. Okay. okay. Nice and easy. How long is asparagus season? Late May through to uh, first week of July yeah. or so. Are you okay? I'm fine. I'm would hot. Kevin at this point rub you down in any way? Rub a towel? I, I would hope not. You're going to take a chili pepper, right? 
cut it in half lengthwise like that. Take your spoon. I'm gonna get rid of the seeds and the veins. You can leave all the seeds in if you want, oh, really? but they tend to make things bitter and they make things a little bit hotter. Just take a little bit of chili. We've got some red and green ones. The green ones are spicier than the red ones. Take a bowl. A little bit of hoisin sauce. Okay. Pick it up at the grocery store. About a quarter cup. Okay. And then about a half a cup of soy sauce. Beautiful. And we're gonna take a little bit of this Sambal Olek chili. Just a little bit of lemon pepper, lemon juice. You wanna see the trick here. This is the trick. Move Sweet them over up. here, all the way up yep. this way. Get them up, and then just roll them. Roll them over. All right, so all sides are looking like that. There you want them to lightly char, just roll them over. You can use your hands to move them around. Yep. A little bit of lemon juice. We got a green onion. Joel, can you grab me some cilantro? Cilantro is this interesting, Ted, because I hear it's the one herb that people either love or hate. My wife, for example, can't stand it. I've heard people compare it to eating soap. So this is going to be a little sweet and uh, salty and spicy. Just put a little drizzle of this all over. And then just roll them so that you get that sauce of the, all right? Well, the green onions and fresh chilies and the cilantro. That lemon pepper, and then you take this and just top it off. It's all in presentation too, and Ted, that's one of your your really great skills. Is you just make food look Thank pretty. You. Well, it's it's I don't I don't go super super pretty. I just go it's natural. Yeah. And so I just want it to be you know it's asparagus. It shouldn't be complicated. The key is the water, so that when they hit the grill, the asparagus starts to steam. So they steam and get tender all the way through. That's what you want. It's hot, right? You got wimpy hands? Well, a little bit. As chef fingers. Oh my God, it's really good. Again, you got the sweet, you got the salt, you got the spice. The asparagus is crisp. Right. It has moisture in it. It has texture. Right. And that's what you want. You don't want to take the moisture out of the asparagus. So the water helps keep the moisture in. With the charcoal, it steams the asparagus to cook them a little bit faster. And you get all that flavor and you get something that's not overcooked, that still has a crunch. Yeah. And that's tasty. And look at that messy fingers. That's that's good food. Messy fingers is good food. Oh yeah. Food. So I'm Ted Reader. This is my buddy Craig Venn. We're cooking it up. Grilled asparagus. It's the season. Ontario asparagus. Go out and get some. If you don't live in Ontario, we'll get the asparagus wherever the hell you live, man. <laughs> Make it tasty. Tune in next week. We'll be cooking up something completely different. Cheers. More coleslaw. Joel.